Hi, Naptime friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today, we're going to be trying the chameleon cells technique with my new favorite resin, KS Resin. And we're just going to jump in and get started. I'm going to be using my Mayron Gold Rose Gold Powder and my Luscious Plum Epoxy Pigment Paste by Lares and my Winter White Tint by Resin Pigment Canada. This stuff is awesome, you guys. So see, I literally just put in about two drops of the white tint, and this is two ounces of resin, and that's all you need. You don't need much at all. And I'm gonna show you how nice and opaque it's gonna get. Just gotta stir it up, and you're not gonna be able to see my popsicle stick at all through the tint. See how opaque that is? It's really, really good stuff. So here are my tiles. I uh, went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera. KS resin is a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's one part resin to one part hardener. And I will link a tutorial or a playlist down below with my resin art tutorials. If you guys are new to resin, be sure to check that out because I show you exactly how to mix up your resin and your pigments and um, all that good stuff. I just cut it out of this video to save time. So here on my tiles, I'm just going in with my colors, just kind of placing them in a stripe pattern, as you can see, going in with some more of that luscious plum on top of the rose gold. And then I'm gonna add my white up here, and then we will be ready to swipe. Um, for the swipe, I'm gonna be using some freezer paper, and I'm gonna be using it shiny side down. I went ahead and heated up my resin on high heat with my heat gun, just a little bit, so it swipes a little bit easier. I'm just gonna fold my paper here, and when you swipe, try to not be too heavy-handed and just go at a nice, even, slow pace when you swipe. I'm gonna take the excess here and just add it to the side, and then same thing on this one. Just go nice and even and gentle. Sorry, my head's in the way. <laughs> try not to be too heavy-handed. I'm going to add the extra to the sides here. And I didn't do anything special to the tiles uh, to prep them. All I did was just clean them off with some isopropyl alcohol, and that was it. Whenever I do experiments, I like to do it on these little tiles. So now we're ready to go in and do the chameleon cells. All you need is some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I just put mine in a little cup, and I'm going to use a paintbrush to uh, dip into the alcohol and then dip on top of the resin and you'll see the cells are going to start to develop. And I had never tried this technique before. Um, I was inspired by Julia Knoll Art. I will link um, her information down below. I saw her do this on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so awesome. I'm going to give that a try. So it definitely works, and um, I'll show you how they all cured, no dimples or anything like that, which is awesome. But um, I had never done this before, so you can see on the left tile, I kind of made my little uh, cells a little bit too close together. And on the right-hand side, this one uh, turned out a little bit better with the cells kind of not being so close, and they didn't kind of join together like they did on this tile here. So I'm just going to go in and take my finger and dip it in any of the runoff here and touch up the edges, making sure that all the edges are nice and covered. Don't want to miss any section on the edge. You want to make sure everything's all covered. I'm going to go in with my finger and do a little swipey. I just wanted to add a little bit of something to the top. I'm really loving the KS resin. It's good stuff and it's affordable and they have free shipping in the U.S. So I highly recommend it if you guys are doing resin art. Definitely give it a try. I'll link all their information down below. And be sure to enter code NAPTIME at checkout and you'll get a discount. Same thing on the other one. As you could see, I just uh, touched up the edges and did a little finger swipe. This is an extra tile I had off to the side. I just uh, dumped my cups on there or I placed them upside down while I was working so all the resin would uh, drip down onto the tile. We'll call this one the extra tile. 
with the extras or the leftovers tile. So I'm just gonna take some of the runoff off of the table, add that to my runoff tile, and uh, smooth it all out with my finger, and that's what I came up with. It's not the prettiest thing, but it'll be a good base for something, right? This one turned out really cool. Uh, these are all still wet, but um, I'm going to let them dry and I will show you what they look like in 24 hours. And here they are, all nice and dry. No dimples or divots or whatever you want to call it. The surface is totally flat. I was wondering, I thought, well, I put a bunch of that isopropyl alcohol on there, so... It turned out totally perfect though. This one looks really cool up close. It's almost 3D. And I like how I added the finger swipes at the top. It turned out pretty cool. And the edge still stayed like that too on this one. Here's the second one off camera. I uh, went in and did some finger swipes just because the cells were so close together. Um, because I placed them too close together, they were all kind of turning into one. So I just went in and added some swirlies with my finger and uh, that's how that one turned out. This one's the leftover one. Look at how pretty and sparkly. I don't know if I like this one, but hey, it'll be a good base for something, right? what you guys think of these? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're all doing good and you have a good weekend. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on Monday for another video.